Hey everyone, it's Dana and I'm back with Kay's Place. How are you all doing? Hope everyone has, is having a great week. It's Wednesday. Wednesday seems to be my day. So, I'm back. I got another Dollar Tree haul for you all. Um, I also went to Tuesday morning earlier this week and I picked up a few things, not very many. And I picked up some great new lipstick at Walgreens today and I'm wearing it. I don't know if you can see that color or not. I like it. I picked up two shades. It's a cover girl. I'll show it to you later on in the video. Um, so I was really excited about that. I've been looking for it for a while. So hopefully we're going to get these videos worked out to where we have a good angle and you all can see everything really well. Um, I'm going to try to get it to where I can film upstairs in my dining room where we have a little more light and a little bit better angles. But my dogs bark really bad. <laughs> so, so I just want to make sure you all can hear really well and see and my dogs. Chihuahuas. They bark at everything. So, let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. I found some really exciting things I hadn't seen yet and I haven't seen anybody haul. So, and some things that I thought were long gone because I hadn't seen them yet. So, let's get into this. I found some of the 20 count Curad Ouchless Fiber, Flexible Fiber Bandages. There are 20 of these in a package and they are, they say they're the truly ouchless bandages. I can't wear the plastic bandages because they break my skin out. So I did buy two of these to try. Um, so I'm going to try these and if they don't break me out, I'll let you know. <laughs> it's a really sensitive skin. If they don't break me out, I'll let you know. And um, we are going to try these. This is our two times more absorbent, flexible. Um, Southern Christie said she tried them on her daughter and they came off, did not hurt. But we will try them and see if they break my skin out. And I'll let you know about, on that score. So I picked two of those up today. And... My grandbaby is coming to visit in September, and she's a year old, and I picked up some of this Kids White Rain Body Wash and Bubbles Tear-Free Pure Splash Gentle and Sensitive Skin Body Wash and Bubble Bath, Dye-Free and Paraffin-Free and Hypoallergenic. She's got a birthmark that's like a strawberry on her back, and it's about mm, this big. We try not to put anything that's real harsh on her skin. So I picked this up. It has a really nice scent though. So I picked this up to try when she's in town because we don't have any, you know, grandma and grandpa, Nana and Poppy, we don't have any uh, baby stuff here because she hasn't come to stay with us yet. They live about five and a half hours away up by Chicago. So we don't have anything down here for her. So we picked this up for when she comes to visit in September. And I found some of the erasable highlighters by Jot. They come in a purple, a green, and a yellow. And I went ahead and picked those up because, to be quite honest, I was just curious. I'm a little on the skeptical side. Erasable highlighters, mm, I'm a little old school. Not quite sure about that. To be honest, just picked them up because I was curious. So I'm going to have to let you guys know about that next time I come on. I found some of the chapsticks, the, um, the, um, I guess just the name brand chapsticks, the ones that are the flavored lip balms. I picked up the Blow Pop, the Cherry Blow Pop. Um, I did see the, um, Lucky Charms and the Mountain Dew and the Pepsi and some of the others, but I picked up the Cherry Blow Pop and I also picked up the mystery swirl laffy taffy couldn't resist these are just adorable so i picked those up and i also found the lip smackers so i don't think i picked up quite as much as some other people did i did pick up one of the i guess you'd call it the scented ones i picked up the watermelon ice in that 
there's that one watermelon who can go wrong with watermelon I remember these in the 80s and 90s from when I was a kid in high school who did not have some lip smackers everybody who was anybody had some lip smackers so I had to pick some of those up and then I picked up two of these that are kind of the scented this is soda tangerine tangerine pop it's kind of a pink and then the caramel sorbet and these are kind of glittery I don't know if you can see that they kind of had a like a shimmer to them and this is more of a, um, a brown shimmery kind of a creamy shimmer and this is more of a pinky shimmer and then these are the dual these are called layer it lip smackers and this is the layer your flavor pomegranate lemonade punch and this is more of the um, lip balm and then the lip gloss and the lip gloss has a shimmer and then the lip balm is at the top and like I said this is the pomegranate lemonade punch pick that one up and they had several several different flavors and then this is also the layer it and this is the raspberry orange sorbet and it's kind of a pink and then a lighter pink at the top and then i got this one could not resist this is also that it's kind of a purple at the top and kind of a yellow at the um, yellow at the top and a purple at the bottom and it is a blueberry banana parfait hmm can't wait to wear that one love those and i finally found i picked five of these up by the way when i found them i finally found the silver wire led lights Yay! I wanted these for some Christmas crafts. I picked up three of the silver and I picked up two of the copper. So I was so happy to find these. I did. I thought they had done come gone and I missed them because I had not seen them at my stores anywhere and these were up by my cash register today. So just had not seen these anywhere. Um, they are Lumiere's. Um, they are the 10 lights. They are 3.6 feet long and they take the two AA batteries. And I think everybody on YouTube has seen these hauled. And I don't know what happens, but oops, sorry about that. I was looked look like I was going to come through the screen at you. Sorry about that. Um, but I just thought they were gone because I never could find them. So I picked up five in total, three silver and two copper. <clears throat> and I heard that these were getting scarce <laughs> and I happened to see two while I was out today so I picked up two more of these really pretty floral planners um, and I think I'm gonna do a giveaway um, if there's anybody who's watching my channel who wants one of these if you let me know that you want one um send me a message and give me your address so the first two people who just let me know i'll be more than happy i apparently these are really hard to find um so actually the i've got one that is this one that is the floral and one that has pink dots so um if you'll let me know which one you'd like the first person to claim the one with the floral has it and the second whoever wants to claim the one with the pink dots it's yours if you just want to let me know i'll give you my email address and you can email me and i will stick these in the mail for you because apparently these little planners are hard to come by like i said i have one that is the floral and one that has the little pretty pink dots on it so and then I ran across some more of the scunchy headbands. I've got a ton of hair, so I'm always happy to find scunchy headbands for a dollar. And I found this really pretty coral one with like a little, um, I guess it's kind of a um, plaid knot in the center. It's more of the wide.
And then in that same style, this one is kind of a gray with black polka dot. And then it's got kind of that herringbone black and white knot in the center. And then I found this one, it's kind of a black on black. It's kind of a silky, this one's a real silky feel. It's a black and gray stripe and it's got a blue and gray. If you can see that knot in the center. And like I said, this is a real silky one. And then I did find this one. Oops, all tangled up here. I found this really pretty one. It's kind of a mixture florally kind of color and it's got gold beads that kind of run through it if you can see that and then the part that goes behind your head is like a little black braid and I really thought that one was really cute it's got blues and kind of pinks and kind of teal I guess in there and a white so I thought it was really cute and then I found this one and it is black and it's got a um got a design that kind of sticks up off the edge right there if you can see that and it's textured it you can actually feel that stick up off the edge and it kind of feels like it, you can feel it on the back as well um, so I liked that one those are really cute I didn't see any of the two piece this time they were all the one piece um, everyday actives but they were really cute so you know anytime I can find those I'm definitely gonna pick them up and I did find the uh, three ponytail holders. It's a stronger and more durable. These were the braided ones. I happened to pick, they were in a ton of different colors. Um, these do have kind of a little plastic piece right here behind the very back. And these are braided. I picked up the black and it's a tan and kind of a peachy coral color. And they did have a bunch of different colors in those. And then I picked up, I took this off the card. Here's the card it came on. Here's the headband. It is kind of a two-day print. It is a brown and black and kind of a goldy color. And it says, Scunchy One Piece Expandable Headband. <clears throat> I thought this is the neatest thing. It also came in a black, gray, silver kind of color. Took me a minute to figure this thing out here, guys. I will tell you. I actually had to have my husband help me with it. <laughs> I'm telling you, because I am not in any way, shape, or form. So it kind of expands this way. And then you kind of, it kind of, once you do this with it, then it kind of um, folds up like. So, so it folds up flat like that, so you can put it in your pocket, and it does have the teeth on the back right there, and then it just folds back out like this, and makes into your headband again. I thought that was the coolest thing. I'm forever taking my headband off and on, or I'll wear it out, and then I'll decide I want to put my hair up in a ponytail, or <laughs> I'll take it off when we're camping, or wherever. But I just thought that was the cutest, neatest thing I'd ever seen. So, picked one of those up. I thought that was really cool. I'm always into gadgets. I am always needing a, these are back Con Air, and they're called Flat Pins Velvet Touch. And there are 12 of these, and they're black. And they, or they do, they have this real velvety, silky feel to them. And they're the wider bobby pins. The thinner ones, a lot of times when I wear the wide, um, like, skinchy headbands, Sometimes they tend to, some of the cheaper ones tend to slide back on my head. And a lot of times if I put a bobby pin on each side, I can keep it in all day. Never need to worry about it. And um, these wider bobby pins sometimes are really great. Or if I'm just putting my hair up for the day, sometimes these work really, really well. And these were just, these felt really nice. They have the best feel to them. And Conair's a really good brand. So... Um, for the last thing I picked up on my way out the door, I also found these really cool little stickers. As you can see, they've got like little, they're shaker stickers. 
Um, they've got like a fluidy water in them. There's a butterfly. There's one with a flower that says peace smile laugh. There's one that says BFF my peeps. Ha 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 OMG BFF and dream. And like I said, they've got um, glittered stars inside of them and they shake around and they've got like a water inside of them, a fluid inside of them. They shake, they're just so cute. There's a sixth piece and they are by the Greenbrier Corporation. Not by Jot, but by Greenbrier. So, just really cute. And then in the sticker aisle, I did find this set of stickers by Jot. And there appears to be one, two, three, four, five sets of stickers. We have this set down here at the bottom that's a double sheet that are kind of glittery stickers. And then another white sheet behind it that's a double sheet. And then you have some little square stickers and then bigger square stickers and some circle stickers. And there are 300 stickers. And this one is, seems to be kind of like a girly, kind of like powder puff, makeup y kind of purse theme. And they had butterflies and hearts and um, I think stars. And I'm trying to think, I think there might have been another like themed package. I'm not really sure. Um, but I did pick this one up because I have a planner spread that I was kind of wanting to do along these lines. And I thought that was really cute. Um, I mean, and that would be a really good package of stickers to get if you are going to do a planner spread. And you didn't want to have to go out and buy like three or four packages of stickers so that you had lots of stickers to do a planner spread. If you're just now starting to do those, that would be an amazing pack of stickers to have to do those. Because... That had, I mean, they have stickers in here that have words and sayings and phrases on them. And that would be an amazing pack of stickers to have to do a planner spread with. So, that was all I picked up at the Dollar Tree today. Um, I did, like I said, make a little bitty haul out to Tuesday morning earlier this week. And I picked up a few things. Some things I hadn't seen before. Um, I am dabbling at I do more things with my planner if you all want to see a plan with me sometime um, let me know I'd be more than happy to show you what I do I don't think I do as much as Teresa and um, some other people I uh, I'm afraid I don't quite cut all my paper and put on paper in there I'm more of a washi tape sticker girl um, but I'd be more than happy to share my planner with you all at, at some point if you want to see that um, but I'm just now getting into um, trying to make some cards. So I found some, I found a card kit and then some gift bag kits at um, Tuesday morning that I thought were just adorable. And I found these really cute tags that um, I'm going to be gifting to a friend. So um, let me show you those and I'll show you where I found those at Tuesday morning. So, I found these adorable, these are by Jelly Bean, and they're called Burlap Tags, and there are four of these in a package, and they were regularly $1.99, and they were $0.79 cents at Tuesday morning. So there those are, and hopefully you can see that number right there. And they're just, there's two larger tags and two smaller tags, and they have the, um, like the jute string attached on the back and I picked up two packages of those and like I said those are for a friend and then this first package is they're by Ann Griffin these next few things that I'm going to show you all are all by Ann Griffin and this one is a treat bag and there's the motif on this one you can see that there hopefully don't you? And this one comes with four treat bags, four embellishments, and four clips. And this one kind of has some gold and butterflies and flowers with it. And the bags are kind of a um, white with a burgundy floral branches and birds. And it's just really pretty. So, I thought that was really cute. And then this next one and they had several they had some for um 
tree bags were just all sorts of different designs. They were really cute. This one's also true, and those were regularly $4.99, and they were for $1.99. And these are pink. These are also treat bags. There you go. Let's see if you can see that number there. There you go. These are also little treat bags. And these are, the treat bags are pink with a rose and ribbon design on them with a little circle pendant. And... It says it also has a little clip there and it has a little thing here that just it's a little saying I don't really think it has anything specific it has a little card that has some little writing on it it's got two little pink roses on there just so cute it'd be adorable to give anybody a any kind of little present in a little gift in just so cute and then the last little treat bag that I picked up here is blue. It's blue and white. A real cute little country theme here. And it's got um, pink and blue flowers. And again, it has the little embellishment with it. And it also has the little clips that hold it shut. And there are four of the bags and everything you need to put them together. And it's like I said, there's that number. And they have multiple, multiple different uh, patterns of these tree bags. And um, then I found these cards. And these were the friend ones. There's the number. And there are two different designs of cards. And there's two of each design of card. But then um, the embellishments that go on them, there's four different design of embellishments, and then there are four white envelopes with printing on the inside. And the, um, the embellishments say, for you friend, for my dear friend, dear friend, and for my dear friend. And they're all different in some way. One has a butterfly, one has a large rose, one has a large rose with a different embellishment, and one has two flowers on it with pink ribbons. So they're all just a little bit different. And they had some for baby showers and weddings and Mother's Day and Father's Day and um, other ones for friends that were in a different design, but just a lot. And so if you haven't quite got into making your own cards yet or you needed a little help, which that'd be me, <laughs> I need help. So I, I just thought that would be a perfect way to kind of get you started and kind of give you an idea of how to do some layering and maybe with your multimedia help, which like I said, me, need help. So that kind of gives me a leg up and I can give somebody a really pretty card and that I made and I had a little help with. So if you need a little help, there you go. So, um, like I said, I did pick up two things from Walgreens. Um, I picked up the, um, cover girl melting pout lipsticks. I've been looking for these for a while. Um, pretty and flawed is one of my other favorite people to watch on YouTube. Um, she hauled these forever ago and they are a gel lipstick and I've been looking for these ever since and I picked up 120 which is what I have on which is called Tangelo and I thought oh my gosh it looks red but maybe it's gonna be orange because it was Tangelo and it was like oh no it's real pretty red um so I thought this was really pretty it has the neatest little applicator if you all haven't seen that um it's kind of a spongy applicator. It's kind of cool looking there. Um, Walgreens does have these on sale right now. Um, they are buy one get one fifty percent off, and then there's another dollar off coupon that you can download for that. And um, then I picked up this other color. It's more of a corally nudie kind of color, and it's called um, Celebrate. And I always think that's a horrible representation of what the color looks like. So that's a better idea for you of what it looks like. There's kind of a better idea. Um, so I did actually put Celebrate on earlier today and wore it for a while during the day. <clears throat> and it has, they have the best feel. 
They're not sticky. They're not tacky. They're very comfortable to wear. They're very pretty. Um, the one thing I would recommend, however, is they do feather a little bit. And if you look at the display when you go, um, I know mine at Walgreens did have a um, clear lip liner that CoverGirl is selling with it. I already had one that I had purchased from Rimmel. It was like a dollar or something. The Rimmel one works just as well as the $8.50 one that CoverGirl is selling. So I would skip the CoverGirl one by two of the melting pouts because these are great formulas. Um, and, you know, go with the cheaper clear Rimmel or Wet n Wild I think has a clear one. Um, but they definitely need a clear lip liner because they will feather out some. So, I hope my haul was helpful. I hope that I found some things you all have been looking for and some things you didn't know were out there. Um, like I said, I could, I'll could i be more than happy to share my planner with you all sometime if you'd like to see a plan with me. Um, I Hopefully I can get that wreath that I did edited. <laughs> My editing skills are really bad, so hopefully I can get that taken care of and out to you all soon. So hopefully I can get that done. Um, I do have an upcoming collaboration with Christy. Hopefully we'll get a date for that and get it out to you all soon. So hopefully that'll be here very shortly. So, if you all have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see, anything I can do that would improve my channel, anything you all would like, please let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm kind of an open book. I'll more than happily tell you just about anything. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, I'm more than happy to answer just about any questions. Um, please hit that thumbs up. Don't hesitate to subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the family. Um, we do do some hauls. I usually just Dollar Tree, but a lot of times I go to Tuesday morning. I'm known to order a few things offline. Um, Michael's, um, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, wherever I happen to wander to to go shopping. Um, I've been known to go wherever, wherever I can find a good deal on something. That's where I'll go shopping. So, please hit the subscribe button. Come back. And we'll see you later on this week. You all have a great Wednesday evening. Have a wonderful rest of this week. And hopefully I will see you this weekend. Bye and have a great night.